The vision of UAB's future football home is quickly transforming into brick walls and tall steel beams. UAB Associate AD Brad Hardikoff drives by the protective stadium site every other day. They're on pace, on schedule. It, the amount of just how quickly it's gone up in the last two, three months, like you mentioned, is, is breathtaking. At its monthly meeting today, the BJCC board received a construction update on the $174 million venue. Whether it's the press tower, whether it's the precast stadia, the light towers, the concessions, the restrooms, buildings, you're starting to see those buildings be complete. In fact, just yesterday, UAB put protective stadium season ticket packages up for sale for the first time. The family pack at, at that $75 rate per season ticket, all the way up to premium options in the club level at $950 for the season. So, only six years after UAB shut down the football program, fans can now reserve seats in a brand new stadium. Another benchmark of Blazer football resurgence. Another step in that direction of UAB's on the move, Birmingham's on the move, and uh, we're taking those steps together. And 2021 is going to be an exciting year. Which includes season ticket holders handpicking their new seats in April. In Birmingham, John Papke, WVTM 13. BJCC officials say the stadium will be ready for UAB's first home game against Liberty October 2nd, 2021. All right, let's get a look at traffic conditions tonight at five. Pretty slow going on 459 southbound right as you pass Highway 280 there heading into Hoover. Traffic going just 35 miles an hour. Also 280 eastbound moving very slow between 459 and 119. You can see there 10 miles an hour, then even past 119. That picks back up just a little bit, 21 miles an hour. Still ahead, unexpected reunion. Only on 13, two strangers discover a secret, one that created a whole new family. And later, ready for the next level. A new generation of NBA players will be drafted tonight. The local hopefuls waiting to be called. But first, Jerry Tracy joins us as cool temperatures move into central Alabama. How long this chill will stick around as we get closer to Thanksgiving. You're watching WVTM 13 News.